Hi, I'm Alex Harwell, Project Manager with Dewberry in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm going to talk about hospital-based smoke control systems. Hospital smoke control systems are required in any high-rise occupancy, uh, in atriums and clerestories, and any locations where inhalation anesthesia gas is administered. There's three basic system functions. Uh, you either pressurize to maintain a barrier where smoke can't come into a zone or space, or you exhaust the smoke, physically remove it, and discharge it to the outdoors, or you purge the smoke out with fresh air. Uh, what makes them difficult in hospitals? Well, first, hospitals are under a constant renovation stress that affects system integrity over time. Second, many technicians and staff are, are struggling with understanding the basics of how the systems work, when were they installed, what code requirements were in place when they were put in, and how they overall function. They require knowledge from mechanical systems, electrical control systems, and fire alarm systems. The Joint Commission requirements for testing life safety systems, which smoke control systems certainly are, are a hot topic right now. They're on the TJC top 10 list. So when inspectors come in and review facility, they're expecting to see a detailed list of your facility smoke control systems, a good understanding of how those systems work from your technicians and your contractors and staff, and clear and effective documentation that proves that your systems are being tested in accordance with the standards in place under TJC.